I am a straight hair natural girl. I don't care to wear my natural curls. It's not a self-love thing. I definitely love myself. I like what I like on me. Some people, I love how they look with their curls. Mine, my curls are all over the place. I have like curl patterns that are like this and then some of them go zigzag. My curls are not just in unison. to my youtube channel you guys have been requesting that i post a full detailed long video of how i maintain my natural hair so i'm going to show you guys how i prefer to do my natural hair routine as a straight hair natural girly and we're going to be using products by brio geo shout out to them for sending me this entire kit i already use this product in my hair care routine i personally like to mix my products i might use brio geo mixed with a little bit of olaplex mixed with a little bit of design essentials but today because i want to do this uh pr review some justice i am going to use everything that they sent me in this kit on my natural hair so you guys can get a feel of how this product is going to work if you have hair similar to mine or you just want to see you know how this product works if you are pro wear your hair natural if you straighten your hair you're going to hell this is your chance to get the hell out of here, baby, because I'm about to piss you off with this hair routine, baby. Let me give y'all five seconds to leave. One, two. Fuck the world, I won't walk in erection. Spit without a thought, we do it reckless. You nigga call us texting. So we're going to start with the Scout Reviver. This is so cute how the shampoo comes in this type of tub versus the usual shampoo bottle. And it does have directions on saying like after the first use, you want to put it in the refrigerator so you can revive the same whipped texture. So that's, oh, look at that. You definitely want to start on damp hair. Okay, I've already like did my first little go through just with water and my nails. When I'm shampooing, I do like to use this just to make sure I'm not creating any scabs in my scalp because sometimes when I scratch with my bare nails, baby, I get into it. I sometimes have scabs in my scalp and that's not good for your hair growth. You don't want to damage your scalp in that way because if you scratch too hard, baby, you your hair won't grow through those little scabs anymore. Get you one of these. I'll link them in my description box just so you can take care of your hair and your scalp. Y'all can't tell me y'all would wear this with a gown. And this was this is what I'm talking about. How people would try to trick you into liking something just because it's natural. This is how my wet and go would probably look. Baby, I look like Al Sharpton. I, I'm not about to play with y'all. Y'all would not trick me into fake liking something that I know I don't like. This look a hot mess. <laughs> Model. Look at that consistency. Ah. This is the first shampoo. I like to do two shampoos and if I'm just taking out like some braids or if my hair is like really caked up with product, I'll do three clarifyings just because I like to make sure my hair is super duper, ugh, super duper squeaky clean. We don't do no stiff hair, okay? We're gonna grab this because we don't want to damage our scalp, okay? We left the scabs back with the relaxers, honey. I can almost tell when someone didn't do a good wash because their hair has no movement and it just looks really heavy and weighed down because even if you put product in your hair after a good cleansing, your hair should not look stiff the same day that you do it. I'm gonna wash my scalp twice with this just because my scalp was not as filthy as I thought. It was mainly flaky, which is kind of normal for my hair. So two should be more than enough. And I'm just going around my edges just because sometimes I do have like dry scalp around my edges and I'm being really gentle with my nails to make sure I'm not, you know, causing a scene in a club. It smells really good. And it feels so good to finally wash my hair, but I was really trying y'all. When I do my hair videos, I'm really trying to make a video for every time I actually do my hair. I don't want to just do my hair. Is this on my face? What the hell? Girl, get your get your stuff together. I'm really trying to take my YouTube channel way more serious this year. So I feel like every time I do my hair or every time I'm doing something that I'm used to doing, like it's not something that's new to me, it's true to me, like doing my hair, I need to be recording it while I'm still young, while I still have the energy, because sometimes I feel like myself included, I was talking to my nail tech 
hence the nail the new nail color did y'all peep i was talking to my nail tech and she was telling me that she's only off on mondays and i was like girl you're only off on mondays why you don't get tired of coming to work she said i want to retire early so i might as well work hard while i'm young and y'all she's only a year younger than me she's 31 so i just took that as like a sign like girl while you sitting here trying to be soft girl life i want a soft life once i'm retired like i don't want to be fake soft because i feel like a lot of people are like i feel like a lot of people are doing this soft girl era and it's not really soft girl if you still gotta you know be stressed about certain things at the end of the day like trying to just keep up with people on social media so yeah i want a soft life but i want to i would rather my soft life be forever like once i retire so if i gotta do the work while i'm 32 just so that when i'm 55 i can retire in peace i can invest my money the way i want to invest it and you know stalk my child i can do that i don't want to be the person that's still you know trying to keep up with an algorithm at 60 years old i mean i i will still be posting for y'all okay I'm, I'm a forever content girly because i genuinely enjoy creating content but do i want to be forced to be trying to keep up with the trends make sure my engagement is right make sure i'm on top of this and that no i want to be well in my bag i'm giving myself another five years okay i i just gotta stop being lazy and stop my problem is the pay be so good i'm like okay girl you can sit down you can sit down for two months and do what you want to do no ma'am you better act like you ain't got no money in your bank account and that's what my mama just told me okay y'all my scalp feels so refreshed like you know how you put like mint in your scalp or you wash your hair with something minty the way it opens up my entire scalp is oh uh, orgasmic but like i said if you are a child get off my channel this is not the channel for you i'm not too far crazy but i ain't got time for y'all to be like there are children up here there shouldn't be where are their parents what matter of fact the thing about it is let's talk about it let me rest this out and then we're going to talk about how y'all be making us do certain things because y'all got kids that's not allowed to see certain stuff first of all monitor your kids but let me rinse this out oh. so the second watch i'm going to record for my instagram reel so i'll be back with what i was about to say about how y'all need to monitor your own kids and stop trying to force people on the internet to raise your children it's not our job i just want to show y'all how clean my scalp is Please excuse the water sounds in the back, but we got to get through this video because I know how short y'all attention spans are because of TikTok. I did cut bangs in my hair, so you will see the front of my hair shorter than the rest of my hair. Up next, we're going to put in the deep conditioner. We're going to leave this in for about 10 minutes and we got just enough time for some girl talks. I do the most with the conditioner. Okay, I have thick hair in my opinion. It's thick enough for me to want to, you know, Put a little extra conditioner up there and sometimes when your hair is not as you know hydrated and moisturized this can be a reason why your hair is getting stiff y'all want to know what conversation i'm tired of i am so sick of the conversation around how much money should a man cash out a woman for her lunch i feel like that conversation is so dated and dry and first of all just be glad that somebody is sending you money for lunch from the get-go because that man could have kept his money to himself the way i feel like our society has become has a lot to do with social media that's why i struggle with what type of real life content i can post because i do not have time to be arguing with folks on the internet one thing about me and i also feel like the way i think is so different from what a lot of people think on the internet and y'all already know cancel culture you say one thing that's you know your true opinion people want to cancel you for having your own thoughts like that's crazy i think somebody predicted that like back in the day they were like at some point we're not even going to be able to have our own thoughts or you'll get locked up if someone sends you five dollars for coffee i feel like you should be grateful people are just not grateful anymore and then you would think these people are people of stature these people don't even be having a thousand dollars in their bank account not judging people who don't because there's a lot of people who do not have a thousand dollars in their bank account but to you know degrade a man because he didn't send you a hundred dollars for lunch first of all who is spending a hundred dollars on lunch okay if you're out with your girls you need to pay for that if it's a date with him okay if that's in his budget but date people who first of all date people who like you second of all 
If you can't even spend a hundred dollars on your own lunch, you should not be requiring people to do the same thing for you. And even still, even if you do spend a hundred dollars on your lunch, girl, stop spending. First of all, stop spending a hundred dollars on lunch. I only do stuff like that when I'm out of town. Not trying to tell y'all how to do y'all money, but I only do the most when I'm out of town. I try to only do the most when I'm out of town or I'm out celebrating something. But to just be spending a hundred dollars on a lunch on a casual Tuesday and you still ain't got your root canal done, baby, you, your priorities is all over the place and you need to cut it out, please. I'm so sick of the internet. The internet makes me itch sometimes. And the fact that I make my money on these apps makes me know that I gotta get up, I, I gotta get in and get out real quick before, <laughs> before it sucks me in, which I like to keep my feet in the dirt, okay? I like to stay humble at all times because that's what the people are not. People get one Louis bag and start drinking tea with their pinkies up. Girl, you do not even drink tea like that. Like, just be yourself. I'm not saying you can't elevate your quality of life. Yes, always elevate. Learn how to do new things. But people really change. They really look at people on social media and try to become what they see based on social media. People don't even know themselves anymore and that's what's wrong with social media. People been making accounts seeing all these different lifestyles online thinking that they're behind thinking that they got to do certain things just to be quote unquote popping and the whole time the people that you think popping on the internet ain't even popping in real life not me out here looking like frederick Douglass niece just so y'all know this is the best celsius if you were wondering i get the peach mango and green tea i don't like the carbonated ones the ones with the little fizz i can't stand it oh if loving yourself means that you have to automatically like everything like and love are two separate things i feel like you can love yourself without liking certain things about yourself so i love my curls do i don't like how it lays on my head it feels like a mop my head is way too big i feel like i don't have enough hair for the head size the head to hair ratio don't match up so unless my hair was like and by no means do i need long hair i need bigger hair for this head size like i don't care if my hair was this short the hair needs to stick out a little more than just this this is why i won't wear my natural curls and i feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had for even the younger women who feel like they are tricked into liking things that they don't like same thing with the body positivity movement like i'm all for loving the skin that you're in and you know embracing the body that you have but if i see myself in the mirror and i know that i'm not taking care of my body the way that i should and i see it's something that can be fixed yes i'm gonna take note of what i don't like and i'm gonna go and fix it i'm not gonna trick myself into be like oh well you still look good so girl just keep doing what you're doing no ma'am because you're gonna go from one look to the next and you're gonna end up hating it i would rather not like something about myself than hate it because once you hate it, it's a whole nother rabbit hole that you got to go down. And I'm not willing to do all that. Like my hair is heat trained. So it's not going to be as tight as my hair, my true curl pattern is. But if I was to go like three to six months with no heat, it would go right back to its natural curl pattern. But this is what we're working with for right now. You know how they say the older that you get, you stop giving a I feel like I'm at that moment. I don't really care who doesn't like what I say on the internet, who doesn't agree with me. I am 32 years old. I am allowed to not like how something looks on me, whether it's pro, black, or whatever. I don't like how this looks on me. Okay, this might be beautiful on the next person, but on me, I look a fool. I look like Frederick Douglass and Rick James combined. And most of the natural girlies that I see, they have a twist style, a protective style, and updo. It's never their natural curls, the way it comes out of the root. The fact of the matter is the girlies are not wearing, some people are, some girlies are wearing their natural curl patterns as a wash and go, but most of the girlies that I see with my texture, they're not waking up, wetting their hair and walking out the house with this mushroom or this muffin top, whatever y'all want to call it. It's a no for me. I am a straight hair natural girly and y'all can't bully me into changing my mind going with the brio geo destined for density the directions say to split my hair into four sections but guess who's not doing all that i'm not so i'm just gonna go like this and really try to make sure i focus directly on the scalp because i just don't feel like doing all that it's going to get on the hair regardless that's 
but not least you guys we're gonna go in with the real geo ferro frizz this is gonna keep all that frizz from coming into my hair i'm going to start on the ends because i always prefer to just apply product from the end up and y'all when i tell y'all this farewell free smells so good i'm also going to make sure i get it on my edges because my edges are always the first thing to frizz up so i'm going to put it on the ends up and then i'm going to comb through oh my god this smells so good if you have not already just go into ulta and see how it smells y'all see if they have like a sample that you can sniff it smells so good I like to comb it in from ends up you don't want to cause your hair to do any more shedding and I'll comb it through once I'm about to blow dry I do section my hair out in between my blow dry just to make it you know an easier blow drying situation it's not all over the place my hair is already starting to dry so I'm going to go ahead and section it out so I can have a smooth blow dry setup this is an up close vision of my scalp y'all never before seen okay get into the scalp honey get before i blow dry my hair i do like to section off my hairs because my hair tends to dry well it will start air drying if i don't go ahead and section it out and i do not want to have to apply extra heat just because i was being too lazy and not scratching it out as much as possible while it was wet so I do like to braid my hair into like sections while I'm blow drying so even if it does dry it's already getting a little bit stretched out. I let my hair air dry for a good 30 minutes. I even grabbed me a glass of wine. Don't judge me but I plan to be up all night making some good content for y'all. We're going to be using the, I don't know if this is Baby Bliss, Babyliss Pro, I don't know how to pronounce it but this is the nano titanium i'll link this also in my description box and this gets my hair dry super quick and then that my hair is mostly already dry it's going to go by so fast i was nothing at all took a trip to london just to hear how they talk back to four and no you should hear how they talk you might be missed a track and flip but i ran through them all then that nigga played it just to watch how it fall i ain't never on for me you pull up when i call So this is the blow dry and this is the wine. I do have a little bit of breakage in the front um, right here and it's not from flat ironing y'all. I know exactly where I went wrong. I was coloring my hair with this, uh, I think it was Pravana I was using. And y'all, when I tell y'all it was called, um, I think it was called either Midnight Black or Midnight Blue. It was supposed to give me like a blue black effect and every time I would apply it to my hair as soon as I would flat iron and this was a permanent color y'all I would apply it to my hair and then wherever I put the color it would like come off and my hair would be like a red undertone I don't know if you noticed in my previous videos or when I would do my hair it looked like a, a reddish brown tone and where I colored it kind of broke off I'm kind of glad it broke off so I can just trim it and let it just grow back in its natural color but I don't know if you can see some of it you can still see a little bit of it but that's another reason why I just went ahead and cut bangs in my hair because I'm not I'm not a slave to hair or length of hair I like having healthy looking hair I don't care if my hair is this length this length or this length whatever is gonna make my hair look the healthiest but I also do like having buns so I make sure that I keep just enough hair to do like a ponytail because I'm a girl that when I don't feel like doing my hair it's gonna go in a bun. A lot of times I'll get questions about what heat protectant do I use in my hair. It all depends on what products I'm using at the time. I'm not the girl who only uses one product. When it comes to my skincare I do kind of stick with like the same three kind of skin products because I don't believe that I mean my skin ain't the best like I have hormonal acne but when I am serious about my skin, it's always like a few different products. It's not like 12 different products. But I am leaning more into Korean skincare. So once my order comes in, I will let I will take y'all on a journey with me because I have some cystic acne that has popped up. It has not gone down. It's like, I don't know if it's like an ingrown bump, but the last time I had one of these pop up, it turned into a big old keloid that I had to get cut out over here. But we're off topic. Let's get back into it. So like I said, they already sent me a heat protectant, which is what I 
you know scattered all over my head and it smells oh so good but for a little bit of extra heat protector for when I'm going to flat on my hair then that my edges are a little bit not a little bit my edges is broken off girl it's giving eight up and that's one thing we got to be we got to be more accountable for you know the things that we've done on our behalf okay my edges is ate up but I'm gonna get it back and this is the video for y'all to come back to you know once you see how my hair has flourished by the end of the year because I like to have my hair braided up probably like April till about August my hair will be braided up just so y'all know so when my hair is braided up that's it's time to like breathe get its groove back and so on and so forth so I just want to give a shout out to good hair day for sending me this flat iron this is a bomb flat iron this is not paid promo all they did was send me this flat iron and you know allowed me to give my own opinion and since I've received this flat iron this has been the only flat iron I've been using because let me tell y'all a little bit about it and this is from me not reading anything I'm just you know taking it as I've used it so when I first unboxed it I was kind of like so there's no temperature on it when I looked at it there's literally just an on button and you just turn it on and it literally goes to the heat setting that's made for your hair so it's only going to get as hot as your hair can handle it so if I go over one piece of my hair it's not plugged in by the way but if I go over one piece of my hair and I immediately try to go back over it and my hair is still like hot as hell it's not going to apply the same amount of heat it's going to be like a very low heat when I tell y'all I was just like what type of technology so this is another thing that can help you from you know damaging your natural hair or if you don't want to you know heat damage your hair these flat irons are perfect for that and once again, let me remind y'all, this is not a sponsored ad, but if y'all do have a campaign coming up, holla at your girl. Let me turn it on for y'all. So this is the little on button right here. Y'all heard that? Look at that technology. Okay, y'all flat irons ain't doing that. These good hair days, you wanna know what else I love? So often I leave my flat irons plugged up, y'all. Why does this thing make noise when you had your flat irons plugged up a long time? and they turn off on their own so if it's over a certain amount of time and you haven't been using it baby it's going to go off on its own you got to repress the on button talk about convenience i don't know who y'all got on y'all marketing team but baby this was the one this is what the people needed i am going to go in with my design essentials thermal strengthening serum just because i like to be extra precautious now that i'm trying to like grow back my edges and you know healthy hair is better here so just a little bit you don't want to do too much but I like to make sure I tap my edges just a little bit and the ends because product does not go on your scalp people otherwise you're going to have heavy hair so the best silk presses are when you section out your hair so you can really get to the root and the ends of each press. This is my back and if you want nice looking hair and you're doing your hair at home, take your time. There's nothing like spending all this time doing your hair just for it to look a hot ass mess when you're finished. Take your time sis. It's giving. Shout out to Brio Gio, baby. Ooh. Ooh, y'all seen that? Hold up. Ooh. <laughs> we ain't doing stiff hair in 2024, baby. Hold up. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we're going to flat iron this all the way throughout. I want to see if y'all can tell where that color it was on my hair. I can see it in the light like right here I don't know if you could tell though but honey my hair was never you know this it's always been like an ashy color but it was never like that red of a you know ash but look at the body y'all all right I'm gonna try to speed through this 8 out of 10 because normally I would like a serum to go on my hair or some type of spray to go on as I'm flat ironing my hair. 
just for that extra protection but baby overall i am loving how my hair feels my scalp feels refreshed my hair feels healthy it's bouncing it's flowing i might tell you a joke but i'm not gonna tell you a lie baby this is the final look i'm just going to add a little bit of my dior lip plumper just to make me look not so drowsy okay because the hair done gotta have the lips plumped up too baby and just so y'all know any guy that i date they tell me this is the look that they love me the most in it's just my natural hair flat iron no makeup no lashes <laughs> with a little gloss thank god my life does not revolve around men because i'm definitely about to add my eyelash extensions okay and tomorrow when i do my get ready with me i'm definitely gonna you know put a little lipstick on put a little concealer on put my eyebrows back on first and foremost baby but um, I like how I look like this, but I like being creative with makeup, with clothes, with my hair and all that. So you'll, you'll get this a lot, but you also gonna get the other parts of me as well. So if you stuck around this long, I'm going to let the comments choose what my next video is going to be. I really want to give y'all a good vlog, like a detailed vlog from when... I'm just out living my life, having fun. I was supposed to go see Jaria this weekend. But I said, never mind, I'm going to stay home. So, yeah, we're going to see. I'm going to let y'all choose my next vlog. I'm going to put a couple of options in the comment section. And whichever comment gets the most like, I'm going to immediately start filming for that. So, cheers. <laughs>